Welcome uh, to the Technion. It is a pleasure to have you. And uh, it is a pleasure to open uh, what appears to be a very exciting conference. Uh, there is no doubt that uh, machine learning and big data um, are going to change our world. I looked at the program and I found uh, the title of a presentation that will be my opening remarks next week when I'm going to greet the new uh, graduates of the medical school, the new MDs. And the title of the presentation is Learning About Medicine by Applying Machine Learning to User-Generated Content, The Case of Anorexia. Um, 20 years from now, patient with uh, suspected anorexia will sit in front of a computer who within two minutes will reach a diagnosis. Um, this is uh, what is ahead of us. I think that uh, our world is going to change. Sensors will be uh, part of our clothing. Somebody will have to collect the data and analyze it. I just told uh, Professor Schuster that 20 years ago, I myself was involved in the big data and I didn't know that. I just met in New York Deborah Estrin, who is the first faculty on the uh, Cornell Technion new project on Roosevelt Island. And she is using sensors to detect hand movements in order to generate personal maps that follow you during the day. Well, my best uh, cited paper is uh, 22 years ago using the same methodology to differentiate between sleep and wake. I didn't know that I was dealing with big data. So sometime technology uh, is ahead of its time, but I think the time is ripe now for machine learning and big data. And I have only one suggestion to the organizers. We should have a meeting in which we are going to uh, discuss the social implications of these technologies. What are the social implications of a world that everything is measured, everything is quantified, and um, information is not at the tip of our fingers, it is on the lens of our eyeglasses. I wish I could stay with you. By the way, I say it yesterday to the meeting on DNA. So uh, I wish you a joyful and pleasant uh, meeting. How many of you are outside Haifa, by the way? Wow. So Mayor Yonayav asked me to tell you one thing. Jerusalem is the most beautiful city in Israel. In, in, in the world, in the world. Haifa is the most beautiful city in Israel. So if you have time, wander around the city, around our campus, and have a good day. Thank you.